Hi everyone, it's Mike from Party of Four Crafts back with you today. I'm going to be showing you in this episode how to make one of the F flakes that have been so popular lately. I'm going to use a different F word than most of those use, but the process will be the same no matter what word you choose. So first thing to do is to type out your text and choose a font. This happens to be the Billion Stars font. You can buy a commercial license for it if you'd like. And then you also have to make what the center is going to look like. So for the center, I'm just going to do a ring. And from there, you can add things inside the ring if you'd like. So I hold down control while I drag a circle to make it a perfect circle. Then hit F1 or click the top arrow and hit control D to duplicate it. Now I have two circles. I'm going to put that back by hitting control Z and then I want to shrink that circle by going path and dynamic offset and grab this little white diamond shrink it down maybe that big whatever size you like now I hold shift while I click the second circle and then do path exclusion and now instead of two circles I have a ring if I were to fill this in it fills in as if it's a ring if you just have a circle, you can't union text to that circle. You need a shape. This is two-dimensional, and so you have to have a two-dimensional shape um, to union it to. So later on, that would be a problem if we didn't do that exclusion step. So also next thing, uh, I need to convert my text to a path by clicking path and object to path. And now you can see that I can edit each one of these and the nodes that make them up. Okay, next I want to union them together. So I hold down shift and I click each one and then go path union. And now they're all one. I cannot edit them individually anymore. They're all one path. Most people who make these have this top part longer and touching the last letter. I think it gives the thin letters some support. And I also just realized I'm going to undo that because you really need for the letters to be touching and the A is not touching the F currently. So I can either make this longer so that it touches or I can also select these, press F1 or choose the top arrow and then just use the arrows to move it over. Either way, they should be overlapping so that when you union, they all union together as one piece. So I'll go back and I'll path union again. And now they're all touching and they're all together. This is going to be an issue with this font that, that's too thin. So I dealt with that in a different video um, about making a, a keychain using the hearts and the glyphs. So you can go and see how to fix that in that video. Um, in this video, I, I won't deal with that. You also need to figure out how to connect the eye, the dot on the eye. Generally, what I do is I just draw a small rectangle and I rotate that rectangle. Keeping in mind that some of this rectangle is going to burn away with the laser. So it looks really big and like it's going to look bad, but some of this rectangle is going to burn away and it'll be thinner in reality. Also right now you can see the thick outline and that will go away as soon as I union as well. So that's thin. Um, it won't ruin your, your font, your text, but it, it's good enough to hold that dot on the eye there. Okay, now if I want to make this longer and touch the H, I can make the H a little taller. And then I can take this. And I shift click on these because I couldn't grab those without also getting the top of the T. So I got as many as I could. And then just overlap those. Because this is all one piece, these overlaps will be okay. But if you wanted to fix that and make sure that they really are just one, you can draw little circles in that area and then hold shift while you click that and that and that and then go path union again. And now they're union together, not just overlapping. You can see there's a, a bit of a gap there. Okay, 
so that's all background and setup. Now what I need to do is I'm going to rotate them in circles. I'm just going to do it approximately in this one, maybe every 45 degrees. So the first thing I do is hit Control D to duplicate this. And then I click on it until I get these curved arrows so that I can um, rotate it. It'll let me rotate it. But rotating it that way would be too difficult. I want to rotate it around the center of the circle. To do that, there's a little plus sign in the center of this box. If I drag that plus sign to the center of the circle, and if I was doing this for real, I, I would have guidelines here showing me exactly where the center of that circle is. I just draw a straight line here and draw a straight line here. And then I highlight them all and go to line and distribute that way. I wanted it to be the smallest object stays in place that way and that way and I'll just deal with it now. So I'm going to leave those there for now but I will delete them later and move this where I want it overlapping the ring a bit. Okay, Control D, click on it until I get the rotation arrows and now I move this plus sign to the center of the circle and now when I rotate it will rotate around the center of the circle. So I'll say that's 45 degrees. Now I do it again, Control D. This plus sign is already in the center of the circle. I don't have to do it again. And I'll go down here. So this one was not 45 degrees. So I'll go back and move that some more. And then down here, Control D, put it on rotation. Rotate it to 45 degrees. Control D. Rotate it. Control D. Oops. Click on it to get the rotation arrows. Rotate it. Control D. Rotate it. Control D and rotate it one more time. So that's pretty close. Uh, before I produced this, I would make this font thicker, which is also covered in another one of my videos, how to make fonts thicker. This would be very, very fragile, or you would have to make an outline behind it to glue it to. But the next step in this, you, you can choose the right font and make it as thick as you want. That's not my goal in this video. Now click on all of those, Click on the ring, holding shift down, and then go path, union. So now they're all union together as one piece, then you have yourself a faith flake. You're going to need to hang it from something, so you're, you'll want to add a hook to the top. So the way I do that is control click to make a circle. Um, normally I would pay attention to how big that circle is, but I'm not going to do that this time. Control click to make a smaller circle, drag it somewhere near the center, and then highlight them both. Go over here to the line and distribute and choose vertical axis alignment, horizontal axis alignment. Now they're aligned perfectly. Now I bring those over here. And now I want to union the outside with the flake. So shift click them both, path union. And then I want to cut the smaller circle out of the larger circle to make a hole. So I shift click them both, go path, exclusion. So there you have it. There's the Faith Flake, the, the new version of the F Flake. Uh, you could put 2020 on the inside of this and union that with the ring if you wanted to. Don't forget to um, delete that extra one. And so if you wanted to make 2020 drag it over here, shrink it down to about size. And then I would have to do the same thing I did with flake, um, path, object to path, move them closer together so they're touching. I go F2, click F1, and then Alt, arrow, move those over. 
and the F2, and I shift click, shift click, shift click, F union those together and move them where I want them, resize them to the size I want, and then F2 or node editing arrow, click, shift click, path union, and now I have 2020 in the center of my flake. A loop at the top and the words faith all the way around. So that's it. I hope you followed along. If not, you can pause and rewind and see it over and over again. I know I, I talked fast, but that's the, the wonder of video is that you can rewind and see it as many times as you need. Thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, click subscribe so you can see when new ones come out. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Thanks.